Hello everyone, back for another review. It's just me today doing this one. I ordered a box recently from Flavorly. It's this company that you can order beer from, basically, and sometimes they have good deals on. Joey and his dad kept telling me about it, tried a couple of their beers, I thought, yeah, I'll give them a go. Not a bad deal, it was about it's like 20, 26 pound, and you get like a crate of 20 beers with a couple of free glasses. It's pretty good value. Um, thing is most of them are just fairly generic pale ales like there's nothing wrong with them but it is just like they're just sort of session ipas about between four four and a half percent so i thought i'm not going to review all of them because i've had a couple they're pretty nice you know, nothing wrong with them but there is one particular beer that caught my eye out of the crate i thought i've got to do a review on this one because it's particularly interesting looking because by wild beer it's a good good company good brewery i've had a couple of wild beers before i'm sure some of you lot have as well this one's called goro now, you might know the name Goro as one of the boss characters from Mortal Kombat. He's the guy with four arms, beats you up at the end of the first game. He's like half dragon or something. I don't know, not really that familiar with the lore because Mortal Kombat's not my main thing. I'm more into Tekken and Street Fighter, but played it as a kid. That aside, we got the description is cola, ale and spices. So I assume they mean like the cola nut or something. It says... Um, the wizardry here is to combine no less than 14 different ingredients to come together for a tangy spiced full flavoured cola nut beer. Yeah, there we go. So I'm, I'm assuming it doesn't taste like Coca-Cola, or is it bloody hope not. But it's cola spelt with a K, not a C, so yeah, right. I mean, it looks, you, you, you might fool me, it looks like Coke, it's got the same colour, isn't it? <laughs> Let's have a look. It's a bit lighter than Coke. These are the glasses that they provide you that you get with the order. They're perfectly suited to a 330ml can, so pretty nice. I actually needed some glasses like that because my trouble is when I pour a can like this into a pint glass, it doesn't last long enough. I think it's a psychological thing. When you've got it in a glass like this, you take your time with it. So I'm, getting the, I'm cheating, getting the, getting the flavour off the can. I just got, got foam on my nose again. That's the second time I've done that today. So, mmm, yeah, it's spicy. Fruity. It does sort of, yeah, it does smell a bit like Coke. A little bit tart, so it sort of reminds me of a sour beer. And then it's a little bit earthy. Hmm, it's all right, something different. Not something I come across, I'm gonna have to have another taste of that. It smells a bit like swimming pools. Not, I don't know if that's a good thing or not, like, but it tastes all right. <laughs> there you go, Wild Beer Goro from Flavorly. It's an interesting beer, brewed with the cola nut and uh, it tastes spicy, but not in a hot way, not in a chilly way. There you go. Thank you for watching.